Hi, one best year videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It's week 15 in the NFL, and we are now doing our regular spot with Doug Upstone each week where we get his uh, value plays of the week. Doug Upstone, thanks for being back with us. Peter, my pleasure to be back here once again. And as it turns out, you were 100% correct last week. I, you said I looked like a winner last week, and I was going 2-1. and one. All right. Congratulations, Doug Upstone. Awesome. And this week, uh, oh, I like the outfit, too. Oh, nice tie. Very classy. Looks a little bit, a uh, little upper crusty. Yeah, kind of like you're in the, uh, you know, upper echelon or upper mid echelon or mid upper echelon of society there, Doug Upstone. Not well, too shabby. Well, you, we, anybody can fake anything in today's yeah, world, right? Yeah, I like the look. That bodes well, I think, for your picks this week. All right, what's your first value pick for us? NFL Week 15. My first value pick, Peter, is with St. Louis uh, this week on Thursday night. Now, last week, I took the Rams in this video here at uh, sportsbookreview.com, and it w ended up being correct. And so I'm going to come right back with them again. Now, we did lose some value because the game did cross over the three-point threshold, but I'm not going to worry about that. You know, I look at this Ram teams, and they outscored uh, their last two opponents 76 to nothing. And while Oakland and Washington certainly are not a threat to, uh, to reach any Super Bowls anytime soon, if it were that easy, other teams would have done the same thing. The St. Louis defense is absolutely thoroughly dominating at this time. Their offense is clicking with their physical running game. And the, and the play-action passing game has also been very sharp of light. Now, Arizona got a much-needed victory last week at home against Kansas City. But quarterback Drew Stanton in three road starts this year has generated just two touchdowns. I think the Rams will roll this week, Peter. You know, when the line first first came out, I was scratching my head a little bit. I thought maybe three and a half was just uh, maybe a little bit too big of a cushion. But after fielding a bunch of other opinions so far, I've definitely switched over to the other side. And now hearing you just makes me uh, like it a little bit more. What's your uh, second pick? My second value pick is with Indianapolis this week to bounce back from a poor showing. Now, the uh, Andrew Luck and the boys last week really scuffled in Cleveland, uh, had four turnovers that led directly to two touchdowns for the Browns, and Luck completed less than 50% of his passes. But he did catch a little a, a bit fire in the second half and enough for them to just clip the Browns 25-24. Now, I think coming back home uh, off their what I would consider a fortunate victory, they're 18-6 and six against the spread playing at, at home. Now, another thing, Peter, that I'm a big fan of uh, in terms of sports betting is when a team knows how to beat another team, I think they do so consistently, and something has to change in order for that to occur. Now, look at this game where the Colts are 12-0 straight up and 8-4 and against the spread at Lucas Oil Stadium against Houston. I expect that to continue, especially with a quarterback matchup of Andrew Luck versus Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah, at first, my first thought was uh, on Indy as well. I'm a little bit concerned, though, because it seems like it's going to be a public play, right? Right, Indy minus six and a half, probably going to be lopsided action uh, on Indianapolis. And as we all know, Vegas doesn't give away money. But, you know, based on the teams, the matchups, and the line, I'm agreeing with you. All right, what's your third pick, Doug Upstone? My third value pick, Peter, is that I'm going to go on with well, the totals play in the NFC North. Okay. Now, Minnesota is coming off a three-game homestand in which they averaged 27.3 points per game, yet the total in this game has plunged two points down to 42. Now, among the reasons for this to occur is Detroit has the number one scoring defense in the NFL at 17.2 points a game. And another good possible reason is the Vikings, when they leave those almost 10,000 frozen lakes, uh, and head on the road, they're only scoring 16.8 points per game in, in away games. In doing some research, Peter, what I found is when the line moves in this area the last couple of years, the under is 10 and 2. Mm. And then finally, I got a system. It's a little convoluted here, so you just have to pay attention. But when the number is between 35 and a half and 42, in a game involving two teams that at average 1.25 or less turnovers a game, after the halfway point of the season, and one of those teams, which is Detroit in this case, only had one or less turnovers last week. The under is 24 and 4. Wow, that is one bad mama of a data mine system right there, Doug Upstone. But hey, I'm a believer. Listen, earlier in the year, I got burned on a bunch of uh, Detroit totals that seemed a little bit too low for me, and I bet the overs, and they went, uh, they wound up going under. So I can certainly see it. And yeah, anytime you see a suspicious total in the NFL, more often than not, it's the uh, the, the play that uh, that seems uh, counterintuitive. That is the right one. All right, Doug Upstone, interesting picks this week. Good luck. I think you're probably going to go at least two and one here. Thanks. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round. 
a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.